So Amelia, tell us about um, where you were in the whole um, thing of going through the Thrive training and how true identity fit and sure. how it impacted um, you. So I, I wanted to learn how to have relational skills that were sustained, not just mm. connecting with people over a lunch date or, you know, little pockets of time. I needed to learn the lifestyle habits that were sustaining. Um, which is, and well, so that's what drew me to signing up for this one. Also, I didn't have a bonded partner to continue the rest mm -hmm. of the tracks that I wanted to take. And I knew that if I went here, I would meet people, I would be able to make some friendships and, mm -hmm. and the rest of the training, um, which did happen. And so I, so that was a blessing to meet people there and have continued relationships after the, the week long training. Um, the other benefit of those relationships that began there was that I had people to practice with, mm -hmm. uh, which was the whole reason I went. I didn't have people in my life that knew how to do this to model right. it. Mm -hmm. so I got to experience what that was like to live for a week with people who were relational and they were relational to me. I could practice being relational to them. And I just learned the way, the way to keep you know, the term is keep your relational circuits on. So I learned yeah. to do that by um, first connecting with God. Mm -hmm. And and that changed. My relationship with God before was conflict-driven, the same as with people. I connect mm. with conflict and drama. Mm. And, um, and so I learned a different way, a better way, a joyful way, um, through appreciation to connect with God to not be afraid of that connection, yeah, uh, which bled into my personal relationships where I could connect with them and not be afraid to connect with them. Mm. Wow. And so you're saying that through going to True Identity, first of all, one thing is that you found someone to be a bonded partner for, the, for your next track. So that is good news because that is one thing that we were hoping would happen because there are people all over the country and the world who don't have somebody to go through the tracks with them. So that, that was my case and I had to find some friends to go with it, through it with me. And so it did have an impact on your relationship with God and with other people, huh? Yeah, and I think the biggest um, change since I've been home mm -hmm. is my I didn't really know who God was. I had this idea of who he was and because of my trauma, it, it tainted mm -hmm. that vision of him. Right. And because I was able to connect with him in a personal relational way, and he was speaking to my heart in such a deep level, I was able to see his true identity that I never yeah. I realized who he was. I thought he was someone else. And so wow. now that I see how, he loves me and he calls me the beloved. It's not like I read the words on the page in the Bible that I am his beloved. I feel it deeply that I am his beloved. Mm. And because I feel loved, I'm able to love others better. Mm. It's just kind of that beautiful cycle of mm -hmm. as he loved me first, but it's yeah. not head knowledge anymore it's it's in my heart and I feel it like you would when you're when you fall in love you yes food and and it changes you yeah that's wonderful thank you so much Amelia that was really yeah that's exciting well Karen Petimer May Karen it has an interesting story to tell as um, so her experience is very different from Amelia's. Karen, tell us about where you were in your Thrive journey and how true identity impacted oh, you. Thanks, Amy. We've, mm -hmm. um, I've been, I've done track, all the tracks. Um, I mean, I, I, I maybe 10 years, uh, every year we do something. So um, I've been through track one, twice, track two, three times and track three, two times. Mm -hmm. And I've done True Identity twice and I'm going to be doing it here next month again. Yay! But, um, I know. And, the re and it's for me, 
uh, it, my husband is involved in Thrive, but so he's not really available to be a partner with me right now. Right. And so it, it, this is a way that I can still keep up with everything and still mm -hmm. experience it um, on my own, you might say, which actually has been good because I'm kind of learning who I am more, you know, right. not more in relationship with my husband, but just who am I Yeah. with, with other people. So that's just been great. And um, so it's kind of true identity reinforces and continues the training for me. Mm -hmm. And each time was unique, um, you know, to where I guess where I was. So yeah. even though we do a lot of the same things, uh, mm -hmm. it was a totally different uh, takeaway each time. And, wow. and also each person that comes. I mean, mm -hmm. it's such a treasure trove of, of people that you get to meet and hear mm -hmm. their and relate with them and do the exercises with them because you mix up the group and mm -hmm. I mean it's just you know you just you, you just are so thrilled to to be around people and and of course as as you know it's not just when we do our tracks I mean we do our exercises in true identity it's when we have lunch it's yeah afterwards I mean it's the whole thing you right know? So, I've had people actually notice a difference when I get back home. They're oh, like, that's great. what is going on? You are like, you are peaceful, you're joyful, you're, you know, something's different with you, you know? Wow, that so, is so good. Um, and I don't know if it lasts forever, so I think it's good to keep on going. Actually. I think so too. And you know, you, you brought up, um, the thing about at lunch and at different times we're interacting. And so um, we want people to understand that true identity is offered during the same five day period as all three of the other tracks. And so at the time that we call God's hour, we are with other people. When we have our dancing together after lunch, we are with the other tracks and at our meals. So it, even though we're um, a different track than track one, two, and three, we still are interacting all the time. So thank you so much, Karen. Well, I also mm -hmm. want to say too that um, I did meet somebody last time, and and then um, I mean I, I do all the time, but um, in fact, if I would have pursued it, I probably could have even had some more relationships. But but I ended up being part of a journey group that was mm -hmm. part of some of the people I knew and track, and that's just like so special too to keep continuing, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that is great. So anyway, it's just great to see our, my progress through the whole the whole thrive um, decade yeah. of my life. Yes, that's so great. It's been so wonderful getting to know you through this whole experience. So thank you, Amelia and Karen. Hi, we're here to talk some more about True Identity, the flex track of the Thrive Relational Skills Training. So I have some more friends here with me. We've already heard from Amelia and Karen, and so now we'd like to hear from some more people who participated in True Identity at various places in their life and in their Thrive training. So Mary Ellen, why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience? Uh, my husband and I um, had taken tracks one and two, and we wanted to take a step back and look at our lifestyle, um, each one yeah. of them, uh, and just, yeah, look at our lifestyle um, going forward. And true identity, I'm going to call it the sleeper track. You know, you, I, I think, well, I've got a pretty godly lifestyle. I read my Bible. I know about all these things. And the one that I had probably the most questions about is the one that impacted me the most, which was my playful self. Um, mm. I'm always, I very much have a servant's heart. And it's, if you want something done, ask Mary Ellen and mm. you know, she'll yeah. get it done. And um, so I hadn't ever, and playful is kind of the last thing that anybody would have ever like, I guess, describe me thus. And then it was during true identity that I realized God just started tapping me on the shoulder and him noticing, I, 
I'm playful. I started noticing squirrels, you know, the way they scamper, the burr is just flitting around. Um, the way flowers just happen to be places and the colors and his creativity. And then he started working on me to realize, oh, you, you have a playful side. You, yeah. It just looks a little different. And the fact that you have so many people from different parts of the country, different parts of the world, and they're mm -hmm. expressing how they do, uh, they do play or they do rest or they do prayer. It kind of gets you out of your, it broadens your horizons, essentially. Yeah. How the Lord works and how his, and it was just amazing. I mean, it was incredibly healing um, to realize that my, my version of playful in cooking and in the way I arrange things. And when in my service, things aren't going perfectly that I can kind of apparently pull a rabbit out of a hat and come up with this really creative idea to accomplish whatever mm -hmm. it is. Um, and it, it was just so healing. I mean, wow. it was so, um, and I started as, um, Amelia indicated seeing more of God and who he was and not having him in a box in this mm, CEO yeah. um, out there doing really important things and getting the work done was the most important thing, but the prayer yeah. and the time, the rest and the play. And um, so it was, it was huge. And um, probably, and so then my husband and I, and I went on the next year to take track three and probably the biggest impact that true identity has had is especially bringing out this playful side. And because even like we were together this mm -hmm. Christmas um, and my kids are all grown, so we're not always together. And at one point, like, mom, we've never seen you like this. You really oh, wow. Like, oh, yeah. You know, because I just did something silly and that's just not, and I, I feel bad that that wasn't a side that they saw of me while they were, right. they were very well cared for, but they never, they didn't see that side so much. Yeah. And so it, uh, it has deepened my relationship with the Lord, with my husband, with going through true identity with the Lord, with my children, um, and with, and then it's seeping out into our community as we're incorporating skills and, mm. and sharing with other people. So it's, yeah. it's really wonderful. I would hardly, highly recommend it as uh, Karen said at any point in your journey. Yeah. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. Yes. Ah, playful Mary Ellen. We love it. We enjoy you. So Richard, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience? Okay, so um, it was about, uh, just about three years ago and mm -hmm. after 30 years of working diligently in an organized way, conscientiously, I had just run my life into a wall. Mm. I was broke, I'd lost my family, I'd lost my house, I was depressed, I was recovering from cancer. Uh, and the worst part of all was that I had no idea of mm. what happened and how I had missed the most important parts of my life. Mm. And I came across life model reading on my phone <laughs> in mm -hmm. the middle of the night. Right. And so wow. uh, next day I called the office and they said to try the book Living from the Heart Jesus Gave You by Dr. Wilder. Mm -hmm. So got that book, read it, and for me, it was a map. Mm -hmm. And I could locate myself on a map and know where I was and see the terrain, which mm -hmm. was just huge. Yeah, yeah okay? and, that is. And so a month from then, they were having their annual gathering, and I realized that all the life model people were going to be in the same room so mm. I could take a look at them and see who they were and if they were for real. So I, I got on the plane, stone cold, not knowing anyone, and I went. And then I went to the, the True Identity mm. class. You and uh, Chris Corsi were teaching it. Mm -hmm. And then Wednesday was so powerful because Chris said, what we're doing here is resetting normal and this mm. gong went off in my head and wow it took yeah. me 45 minutes to to raise my hand and what chris had said was if you hit something hard stop and rest and i hadn't rested in 30 years mm. I, 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 and that was the beginning of me 
locating that there was a source for mm. me and, mm. and for my life. And that was Emmanuel. Mm. And that was the life changer. Yeah. Um, and, and I met Emmanuel and mm. I know that I'm loved. Yeah. I know where I am and I know whose I am. Mm. And that's made all the difference. And yeah. Since then, primarily, I, I've been uh, I've been working through the, the curriculum, and it mm -hmm. a, and the curriculum is so powerful. Mm -hmm. As I digest it, my life is renewing very differently than it was before, and mostly yeah. I'm able to relax much more, mm -hmm. and to to listen to others much more, and mm. to to synchronize much better. And I know, and I trust, and I believe, and I feel that God is taking care of me. Mm -hmm. And that's letting me take care of everything else. Yeah. Yeah. It has been so amazing to be on this journey with all of you guys over the past few years to see how you've... Um, yeah, just move forward from what you've learned in true identity. So thank you. Thank you. So Elizabeth, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience? Well, as I've heard Amelia and Karen and Mary Ellen and Richard share, there's a lot of appreciation memories of that week of true identity, <clears throat> excuse me, which was my introduction to the um, Thrive curriculum. Um, so um, some of my story overlaps with Richard in that mm -hmm. um, I was, um, I was, I had a, 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 a relationship with the Lord where I, I communed with him and I could hear him. And I got, um, my identity got tied up with another person who was mm -hmm. not good for me. And that identity um, got tied up with God's identity. And so yeah. I was kind of a mess mm. and I googled and followed links and ended up stone cold at the annual gathering and from <laughs> that I saw this little card about getting together with other people to discuss the concepts and so um, my nervous system was um, just trying to come down off of this experience right and I was wired pretty tight and um uh, I guess that was in March and through just being with people who were modeling well for me, what it was like to enjoy being with others that um, I started kind of calming down mm. and I was trying to, I, I was hungry to learn all these things from a left brain perspective. Right, I was right. reading all this material and um, I landed at, at uh, true identity because I didn't have um, anybody who a partner mm -hmm. and I would have been willing to do it had I been able to find track one had I been able to find a partner but God knew so much better what I needed mm. and um, that week was so um, so precious to me in re like mm. Richard said resetting normal like being able to reset my nervous system and to love people and not be afraid of relationships mm. as I was. Yeah. And, um, that just meant so much to me. And so I just, I, I love the experiential component of it. I use those tools all the time, appreciation. And mm -hmm. I'm just so thankful um, that God provided a way for me to learn how to heal and to have a new normal. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so much. And so you've um, continued on and now you and your husband are actually going through the, the tracks, aren't you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so sometimes yeah. we, yeah, we, we don't have someone um, to go through that, but as we grow, um, God provides, mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you so much. Well, um, this is incredibly encouraging to me to hear your stories and hear things that I haven't um, necessarily heard you guys say before. And so um, 
just makes me look forward even more to the next true identity. And so Charles and his wife, Charles Spolstra, and his wife will be with us as we um, do true identity in February, but then we will be back in July and February and July every year for as long as possible. I hope we can always um, do true identity and bring transformation like this to the body of Christ. Thank you so much to each of you for sharing your stories.